Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make Sophia the First in her little standing skirt. Now it's a 2D standing skirt, it's part of her. It doesn't come off like my 3D little standing skirts do. So this is it, like that. The things that we're going to need, a single loom, we're going to have it in the offset configuration. So columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two. We're going to have the arrow pointing towards us or the open part of the peg pointing towards us. I'm using a glitter white for her crown, caramel for her hair, skin tone, uh, uh, four millimeter by seven millimeter mini pony beads. These are called mini pony beads for her eyes. I'm also using, this is a, a little charm, a little bead that I picked up. I think it's actually supposed to be like a Christmas decoration, but I thought it might be quite good to use as her amulet that she wears around her neck. Not sure if you can see that. There we go, it's like that. And in order to thread that, I thought I would use my metal threader. Now I made this from a twisty tie. It's very, very easy to make. Um, all you need to do is get a twisty tie, strip off the um, the paper from it and you have the metal left inside and you squidge that in half and voila you have a threader and when you're using the threader all you do is um, thread your band through like so and then pop the two ends through the hole now you can use floss as well but I prefer to use this because even though the wire isn't very strong it's it's more sturdy than floss and so as you pull it through you can thread your beads or your um, eyes or whatever you happen to use so I, I really do enjoy using that so this is my little um, necklace that I'm going to have around her neck um, what other colors purple and white I said skin tone, didn't I? Now, the purple and white I'm using are Rainbow Braid, okay? They're an, uh, a newish, well, they're not that new, but they've been around for a little while. They're a lovely band. Um, they are machined so nicely. They're not, you don't see these great big hunks all over the place, and they all sort of seem to be standard size. You, you don't get, you know, a huge big fat one and then a little skinny one. They all seem to be pretty well made, which is nice. And they have a nice feel to them, and there's a good stretch to them as well, which is very important when we're doing what we're doing. And they go back into their normal shape. Now they are um, uh, latex free. Sorry, I had a, a complete brain little numbness there. Uh, latex free, phthalate three, free, lead free. So they've had all these independent tests done on them, and they're all good. So let's get started. We're going to do hair on the back of her head, which is the Crafty Ladybug technique. Um, if you haven't checked out her site, please do so. She's a fabulous designer, one of my dear friends. We're going to be double banding. You take two bands, you place them on these pegs together. Like this, I'm using the caramel for her hair. And we will come down two on either side. And then in the center here, we're going to come down one pair. Oopsie. Two pair. And three pair. We're going across from the sides, from the center to the right. And from the center to the left push everything down. We're going to be doing layers for this. You're going to have her face on top of this, so we need it to be um, pushed down quite well. Another pair for the neck. We're going to go here. We're going to put a single end cap. So wrap a single band once and twice around your hook and pop that on the end here. Now we're going to do a single crossover up the top. And then before we put the other cross over here, we're going to make her the back of her hair um, sort of like a, a, it's not braids, but you know what I mean, this, this part, the longer part. Two, and we're going down four. So that's one, two, three, four. One. Two, 
on this side. One, two, three, four. Let's put an end cap on each of these, wrap a single band around your hook twice, and pop on the end. One, two, and three. Dig down past the end cap, and we loop these up. all of them let's take these three off make sure you have all the loops on your hook okay so these three are going to go on these two pegs I'm sorry, pegs, two bands. Slide them on. And replace those two bands right there. You might want to move the one closest to the center and pop it down like that to keep it out of the way. Let's do the same so that we can do the same for the other side. So again, we're working in pairs. One, two, three, and an end cap one two three four one two End caps on these. Take these off. Like that. Twist your loom around. We're going to put these on these two. And replace your two bands. Again, move the centre one if you want to. Pop it down the middle there to keep it out of the way. Now we're going to take our second crossover, we've got the first one up there, and stretch it over those three. We're going to pop our hook down past that end cap and grab the two bands. Keep your finger on the end cap so it doesn't fly off and loop these up. And then you're going for the top two, loop them to their side. The next two, they go to their side, and we loop up. Like that. Now, before we loop these two, you're going to take two bands, pop your hook through here, grab those two bands and pull through and reclaim. So you've got them on your hook here. And you're going to do a chain with another pair and one more pair. So you have a chain of three, all right, right there. And you're going to lift that up and pop on here and then loop that there. Let's do the same this side. Pop your hook through, pull two through and reclaim. Another two. That's our second pair. Here's our third pair. They're just sitting out there like that, a little chain. And we're going to pop those on this top peg. If I can get my hook to work, 
which would be nice. <laughs> and then dig down on the bottom two bands and loop up. Push everything down. It's going to be tight and squeezy here soon. We're going to move to skin tone. To skin tone and you're going to skip this first peg to the second peg and you're going from the second peg to the third peg in all columns like that okay and we're going to put two more here and then just like with the hair we're going from the center to the right push things down from the center to the left and then we need two for the neck that we're going to have a single crossover down the bottom here stretch it across those three now we're going to put our eyes on I use a uh, hook to do my eyes you can use your threader you don't have to use beads you can use bands you take a single black band and wrap it four times around your hook and that equates to one bead so that works out quite well now before we put our beads on let's take a single and wrap it or twist it rather once twice and three times and pop here that stops these beads from falling from sinking to the back of the face now we're going to put our beads or bands on your band stretch across make sure you have one eye either side and then you're going to just put your hook through the middle of that band and lift the top part up and over this peg so it acts as a crossover band for you all right next and this is very important you need to grab the end cap that we used here and pull it up and over so it's sitting on top of those um, neck bands okay it's sitting here that ties the back of the hair into the front of the face and that's quite important okay um, we're going to start laying bands for our little body and we're going straight into the purple we've got this is our neck band so we're going to do two and then we're going to do two purple and two purple try and make sure that they're not um, twisted now the reason I put the the skin tone on first is so that when I loop this up I'll loop the arms in first and then the skin tone on top of that so then when you look at her you see skin tone at the back and at the front I mean it's her neck it's at the front and the back so it really should be there I'm going to pop this this little necklace that we've got right here okay just to remind me that that's well actually I'm not I'm going to pop it one above right there so I remember that I need to flip this over okay so we're coming down and we're going to be using our purple bands two and again you're double banding still you're coming all the way down to the bottom of your loom with these purple oops all the way to the bottom And the same through the middle here. Now you can use other colours, but um, I'm going to do the white on the bottom of her skirt and on her hips. Now at the bottom here, I'm going to take two from the centre to the right two from the center to the left push down and put an end cap in the middle single wrap it once and twice and that just sits here on that peg 
we're going to do some crossovers. You're taking singles and adding them over these three pegs in the shape of a triangle. Now, as we get closer to the center here, these are all just single bands that you've stretched. And the same in the bust, that first one for the bust. But this next one to the bust, you're going to take a single figure eight, loop it on itself, and that's going to be doubled, a double band, not double banded, but a band doubled on itself so that it draws her waist in. And then the one after is just a single. So this, this one here is the only one that you're going to loop on itself. It's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh peg down, okay? Let's do her arms. We're going to take a single skin tone, wrap it once and twice, and slide onto a pair. And you're gonna have three pair of skin tone. Okay, so that was our first pair. Here's our second pair. Here's our third pair. Now we're changing to purple. Like that. Now, what I'm going to do, I, I want to sort of make it look like she's got little puffs on the bottom of her sleeve. So I'm going to add those either side here. So take this off and push down just a, well actually, let's take the whole thing off. Take the whole thing off. Just be careful you don't lose those purple bands. Take a single purple, wrap it once and twice, and then pinch one side and pop the other side on your hook and slide that over. Move it down. Again, make sure that you don't lose what's on your hook. Another single, wrap it once and twice. Reclaim these two, these two purple bands, the two ends, and you're going to take the one you just wrapped up and over like that. Okay, and that's going to make it look like she's got little puffy sleeves. And we'll do one more purple, or pair of purple. Okay. And we're going to pop that on her shoulder right here. Let's do the same on the other side. A single, wrap once and twice. And if you remember, we do three pair of the skin. That's number one. Number two, number three, okay, let's slide our first purple on, take your hook out carefully, wrap a single purple once and twice, pinch one end, pop the other back on your hook, and slide over. Now before we reclaim the other end, let's wrap a band twice around, reclaim our purples, and move up and over. And then we can do our pair, and attach to the other side, like that. All right, um, what we're going to do now is dig down past that end cap and grab these two top purple and loop them down. And the same on this side, loop them down. We're going to loop the middle one up once, and the left up, and the right up. Now, before we loop any more up, what we're going to do, we're going to pop our hook through the bottom here, okay? And we're going to take two bands and we're going to loop them up, reclaim it like this. I'm going to zoom in a bit just so that you can see quite clearly what I'm doing. All right, so we're going through the bottom here and pop another pair through as well. Okay, now the aim of what we're going to do is we need to, instead of doing a great big chain on this, we need to connect it to these and we're going to connect it to the side of her dress by using the crossover bands we already have here. So let's let go of that end. So we've got, we've got it like this. And what we're going to do, grab your hook and hold that crossover band on your hook and then reclaim 
okay and then take your next pair and you're going to slide that pair through all of them like that okay and again now I can see I've grabbed something extra here let's try that oh the crossover band is being silly there's the crossover band and there's the other one there we go grab the next crossover band up the top here put it on your hook reclaim pop two on your hook and draw through I can hear our sirens going off they're testing our tornado sirens sounds like we'll have to run to the air raid shelter or something grab your next two I don't think I'll ever get used to that and pull through all right so that's um, going all the way up to let me see this is the this is the double one that we doubled over for her waist so we're going up to the one underneath it all right so I've gone here so grab this one here and I'm going to grab another two purple pull them through grab this last crossover and now I'm going to take a pair of white and I'm going to grab the white and pull through like that make sure my crossovers are nicely positioned I'm going to grab one more pair of white so that this makes it look a little more full and I'm going to pop that on the peg just under where we did this double looped band here okay so it's just going to go there I hope that siren's not too loud for you it's very loud for me I can hear it make sure your crossovers are positioned properly that one needed to come over here let's do the other side so we go through here and pull back two pop on your hook you're not catching anything with that first one the second pair I'm going to pull through don't reclaim you're going to grab the crossover band put it on your hook and reclaim take another pair of purple and I try and have my loom on its side almost pull through grab the next crossover band and pop your band on and we go through for our next one grab your crossover band reclaim pull through now am I up now I've got one more to do before I change to white I think yep so one more pair one more pair of purple now I'm going to grab this one Grab my first pair of white, pull through. I'm not I'm not going to capture anything for this second pair of white. I'm just going to do a chain with it, just by pulling it through like so, and we pop it on the alternate peg. And let's make sure our crossovers are all right, they are, so that's fantastic. Okay, let's get rid of those bands. We're going to start looping things up. I have to say, every time I hear the tornado sirens, I panic. Even though I know it's a monthly test. <laughs> we hear them so often in the spring, and the summer, and the autumn. <laughs> okay, when we get to here, we're going to lift two bands off the white ones and loop up that's so that when we replace these white ones the white ones are on the top and I think it looks prettier again pull out loop up and replace your white bands 
and then we loop up loop these up so you know that they're secured Make sure you're looking for your um, little teardrop shapes. That's your visual indicator that things have been looped up. If you haven't looped them, you just have this normal straight. And, it, and if you take it off the loom and you haven't looped one, you're going to be so angry. Let's loop the arms to the neck or the shoulders to the neck first. Like that. And then the neck up the chest up. Now I'm going to dig down and find those two skin tone bands and loop them up to here. Now what I'm going to do is pull my bead forward okay and it doesn't really have to be on the back of the other one I don't care that it's only around the first bit that's absolutely fine as, as far as I'm concerned if you want it to be um, around the whole lot, the whole neck, that's completely up to you but you're not going to see it anyway because the back of her hair is going to hide that so I'm just having it like that. Grab two bands and loop them to the side, the next two to their corresponding side and now we're looking for the last two skin tone. There we go, loop those up and up. We're digging down and finding the two skin tone, only the skin tone. Try not to get any of the caramel bands caught in that. Loop up and loop up. Now, when we do these caramel bands again, I'm going to lift up the top two bands of the hair extension. Make sure my hook is pushing past the bands for the um, crossover for the hair. And I'm going to try and make sure that these aren't twisted. I don't think bands on the face area look very nice when they're twisted. So try and make them untwist. Pull out, hold to the side, dig down past the crossover bands and loop up. Replace your band. Please, if I'm going too fast for you, remember that you have a pause button. You also, if you're using your PC, can slow the video down. There's a setting that you can actually slow the video down. And um, I have a tips and tricks video to show you how to do that. Admittedly, I sound like I'm drunk, but um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's another story. Okay, push that down. We're going to get two caramel bands and we're going to tie off. Now, I like to add her little crown after the fact. So, pop your hook through. Drag two bands back. I like to use two as my tie-off bands because then if one breaks, it's you have the insurance policy of the other one. One over the other and pull tight. grab the back of a hook to help us now careful on the back here because you've got there we go So here we have her with the little for the arms I tend to pull up and down, up and down. Stretch her face out a bit. And we're going to tuck the tie-off bands at the back of her hair here. Pull those tie-off bands through. And you kind of want them to be 
between the hair and the skin of her face and you can just hide them at the back like that. This is her necklace. And if you don't if you don't want that, you don't have to add it. I didn't add it for this one. It's completely up to you. If you if you want to add it, fabulous. If you don't, doesn't matter. You can not have one. So I'm not sure if I'm making it worse or better. I think I might chop it off. <laughs> I look like I'm strangling her. <laughs> All right. Now, if you don't want her hair as buffy on the sides, you can um, you can make it two instead of three. Um, I like it so that it looks like she's got some some room on her hair, I guess. So here we go. Now, pull her into shape a bit. This is going to annoy me. I'm going to take that bead off. I think it's too big. Go away, bead. Too big, too big. All right, for her little crown, take a single, and I'm using glitter white. Wrap it once, twice, and three times, and slide onto a pair. Oops, one decided to go AWOL. Mid slide. <laughs> slide it on. Pretty it up. Now, don't reclaim just yet. Take another pair and slide onto one side and reclaim. And then reclaim the other side and take another pair and slide through. And this is how we're doing her little crown. So grabbing a pair of the caramel pull the two through like so okay now um, if you have something to hold the other side that's fantastic it doesn't have to be another hook it can be a pencil or whatever what you're going to do is go through the two bands here all right and we're going to take a single band pull it through and pull it through and just tie in a slip knot. All right, we're going to do the same for the other side. So take that back off. You want to go through the two bands at the top of her head. Oh, I can't even hold a band, a hook. And then go through the two sides of your brown for the uh, tiara. Pull through. Now, what we're going to do, tie. Tie a little slip knot, make it nice and tight, nice and tight. What we're going to do is hide those little slip knots again at the back of her hair. Okay, so this is how I want it. It's sort of so it's like a, it's sort of almost like she's got a braid at the top of her hair, but I just didn't want her to look like she had a flat head. <laughs> so push your hook through, grab and pull through. Push your hook through. Grab and pull through. Now you can't see those at the back, which is great. Now we're going to tie these in because you can leave them like that, but I think it looks like she's got a load of braids there and she doesn't have braids at the back of her hair. So what we're going to do is you split them into three, really, and you're going to go through the end caps of all of them, okay, and tie them in together. So through this first end cap here, go through with your single band and we need to tie a little slip knot. So you've gone through one side, do a slip knot so that the end comes out pointing towards the centre. Put your hook back through and drag through. Like that. That's going to just sit out here for the second. Do the same this side. Single band, pull it through. When you do your slip knot, go from the outside to the inside because then it's facing the right way. Okay, go through the little end caps. One, two, pull them through like that. So there's your other end here. 
and there's your other end here okay we want these to join together all right so I mean you can just tie them in a little knot together if you want to that's uh, completely up to you like that and then with the ends all you're going to do is go through the end caps again and just drag the ends through so that they're hidden like that on the inside is best <laughs> there we go just like that so there's that's the back of the hair all right oh got a fallen fallen tiara but let's fix that so there we go there's our little girl now to make her stand up we need to do we need to fix her dress and that's the fun part because what we're going to do is a little bit of crocheting with loom bands to make her stand up so I'm using purple and the white okay and what we're going to do is we're going to crochet with double bands a border of white and then a frill of purple. If you turn your doll upside down and you want it so that her, her back is facing you, have a look here. You see there's a f one stitch here, one stitch here, one stitch here, and one stitch here. And this little bit in the middle is our end cap. We're going to ignore that. In each stitch, you have two bands nearest to you and two bands far away from you. What we're going to do is work in just the two bands closest to you to start with. Taking two white bands you're going to pull them through those purple little loops and you're going to take one side over the other and do a slip knot and you're going to do the same again in that same stitch these are called stitches so again you're going to take two and in that same stitch you're going to do another slip knot so you have these two slip knots sitting side by side and then you're going to take the two closest to you up and over so they've joined together and these just are sitting on your hook these two so then we're going to go to the second stitch and again there's the back side of the second stitch here's the front side you're going through the front side and you're going to take another two pull them through one over the other in a slip knot and then join them to this slip knot by moving that one up and over and do the same again you're going in that space again up and over into slip knot and then join them in that was two so let's go to our third stitch and do two in here these are called single crochets and what you're doing is two single crochets in each stitch which is called an increase Now on our fourth stitch, two, one over the other, join them in, and then go back to do a second one in here, one over the other. Now we're going to flip it around, so there's our, there's the the, the back side of it. Now we're going to work on the these backside ones which are now the front side so <laughs> push your hook through those two and we're going to do exactly the same a slip knot one over the other and join and go back through for your second slip knot in that stitch and join now we move to this next stitch As I said, these are rainbow braid bands. They're very nice to crochet with. That's two in there. Let's do two in this one. And join. Go back through for our second. Now 
now on this last one which is our fourth it's our first one and here is our second now we're left with these two little loops on our hook and if you have a look around here let's spread these out a bit there's the stitch that we started with right here so we're going to push our hook through again just the front two loops not the back two loops we're just going through these front two loops and instead of using white we're going to use purple and this time we're going to pull through do a slip knot one over the other and one over the other now we're just doing one in each stitch this time so we're not going back through we're moving to the next stitch okay and we're going to do one slip knot in this stitch and join together and then one in this one and one in this one join them together Just keep moving around just going through those two the two little loops that are closest to you move around nearly at the end these two and we have one two two last stitches here's the second to last And here's our last pair. And you're going to grab through that first of the purple and with a single purple band pull through and we're going to tie a slip knot. And then we're going to hide that slip knot through the centre of these bands here so that we can't see it. it back through and it's hidden now you're going to need to stretch this little bit out and it will take a while for the bands to sort of relax and uh, this one is much firmer now so when I stand her up she usually just stands quite happily she's a bit hair heavy that's the other thing to bear in mind so when you do this stretch it out and then as you stand her up you sort of have to bend her body just a little bit to accommodate her hair. But there you go, she's standing just fine. Fix her little tiara. But there we have Princess Sophia. I hope you enjoy making her. Take care. Bye.